Black Business Month is well underway, and we want to induce you, introduce you to a few entrepreneurs over the next few weeks. Today, we'll step inside a whole new world at Loman Creative Services. Take a look. You're going to put this on. Okay. Bernice Loman and I getting ready. Is it tight <gasps> enough or loose? Wow. To step into her virtual reality office. So let's, let's walk into Loma Creative Services. Okay, so. You're going to take your left joystick and you're going to move it forward, like up. With several spaces. Here is the conference room, just walk through. Mm -hmm. She's providing the faith-based community. So this right here where some clients that are ministry leaders come in to do their Bible study. And businesses spaces to meet and instructions on how to navigate virtual reality. A lot of workshops here from credit repairs. We had some experts to talk about credit repair from SEO, website development, AI, I mean, different topics. Business owners even use her metaverse for conferences. They have their block time for speaking like a normal mm -hmm. conference. You mm -hmm. have that traditional setting where there's a gathering of people ready to hear from an expert. Uh, then there's the meet and greet space. You get to have that opportunity where you can share who you are and how you can network, how you can collaborate, how you can partner. It's that same setup, but you're all just on a headset and you're meeting in that space. Loman's mission is to help our community and people around the world understand virtual reality and how it can take communication to a whole new level. It's what I'm doing in the in-person 2D real world. I would like to duplicate that exactly what's happening in the metaverse. Virtual reality may be eye-catching, but Loman Creative Services offers much more. We help with branding, marketing, and technology for uh, small businesses and ministries. It was her curiosity that got her started. It was around that MySpace era uh, where I had a desire to just do coding, websites, and I saw how amazing it was to connect. Although she started her business more than a decade ago, she says years later, this field still lacks diversity. In this space with technology as it is growing, I often do not see people that look like me in the technology space. She's now able to inspire a generation. For me to be in this space is, I mean, it's an honor. Loman also hopes her story and services opens doors in the real and virtual world for other businesses. When Loma Creative Services was formed near 2011, it was a, it was a leap on faith. It was, okay, let me let me do what I believe God has allowed me to do, and that is to create something. That is to help others. One. Reporting in Savannah, Camille Syed, WTOC News. I had so much fun <laughs> using that headset. It was a lot putting it on at first. I was like, whoa, because the whole room, yeah. just you're like in the virtual yeah, space. I found it to be disorienting. I, I did this with <laughs> Bernice a couple years ago, and I have to admit, I am I am an actual failure of virtual reality. Oh, there, my goodness. There is nothing virtual about how bad I was at this. <laughs> I couldn't do it. But she uses it, and she helps companies use it in such great ways. Uh, churches are able to do services yeah. through virtual reality. She has a Christian business owner's conference conference that she does every year. She's able to have speakers and participants from Africa and Europe all around the United States. They can just plug in and do it uh, in the metaverse. That is so cool and so interesting to me. Speaking of that, she actually has one coming up in December, which I think is just so cool. So uh, we'll be keeping in touch with her. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can, couldn't figure it out. But, uh, <laughs> I, well, making sure the outdoors is for everyone. When morning breaks,